Gorgeous! In today's video, I'm sharing a summer bridal makeup tutorial with you. And even if you're not getting married, there are a lot of excellent products I'm using today that will keep your makeup on in the heat and humidity these hot summer months. A lot of the products I'm using are from Sephora, and I do want to mention that Ebates is running an 8% cashback promotion this week only. They're celebrating wedding week. So if you are planning your wedding and you're getting a lot of stuff online, this is an excellent week to get that stuff, get cash back, because weddings get expensive. I mean, it starts adding up after a while. So if you can save some money on the side, why not? I'll have the link below for you if you do not have an Ebates account yet. I'll also have all the products I'm using in today's tutorial listed below as well. First things first, we have to moisturize the skin before any makeup application can occur. I'm using one from Ole Henriksen that I picked up recently, and I really like it. It's light, fresh, sinks into the skin nicely, and plays well underneath makeup too. And then I'm taking my most favorite eyeshadow primer from NARS. This is the best stuff ever. If you want your eyeshadow to last through hurricane force rain, <laughs> it will with this primer. Using a few shades from the Tarte Tartlet palette, this is a beautiful palette for brides, I'm starting out with Super Mom and applying this lightly all over the eyes as a base. Applying an eyeshadow that matches your skin tone first as a base really helps with blending as you go through the application. For the crease, I'm taking Force of Nature. I'm using the MAC 286 brush and lightly dusting this in to contour the sockets of the eyes. Then I'm taking a blank brush after that and running over the edges to blur any harsh lines. For my lid color, I wanted a shimmery look, so I'm using MAC's Grand Entrance. This is a limited edition eyeshadow, but it's more of a dupe for Stila's Kitten, so you could use something like that. You could also use MAC's All That Glitters in its place, another excellent dupe. And finally, I'm taking the eyeshadow Multitasker from the Tarte Tartlet palette, applying this into the outer third of the lid and starting to blend it into the outer V. Then I went back with a little bit more force of nature, blended that into the crease, and finally went back with a blank brush again to buff out any harsh lines. Curling the lashes and applying a waterproof mascara, and my most favorite one that I use for brides and I highly recommend if you are going to be crying at some point, because yes, you will, is from Chanel. This is their waterproof mascara. It is one of the best and it will stay put. For my brows, I'm using one of Inglot's brow defining gels in shade 14 and applying this with the MAC 263 brush. And after application, I usually go back with a spoolie to blend the product into the brows and diffuse any harsh edges. Now when I'm doing bridal makeup, I typically do not use strip lashes. I tend to go more for individuals and I absolutely love these from Ardell. I'm using their Not Free Double Flares in short and medium and combining those up with some singles in medium also. And my most favorite glue for application is from KISS. This is formaldehyde free. It's very safe for the eyes and it holds strong. And what I typically do is apply a little bit of this onto the back of my hand and dip one of the single lashes into it and then apply it directly onto each lash on the eye. Now it's very important that if you do try this that you're applying the individual lashes onto your lashes. You don't want to apply these onto your skin. It does take a little bit of practice, but I've had brides who tried it after their wedding day and told me it was 10 times easier for them to do the individuals than to do the strip lashes. So if strip lashes have always plagued you with application, definitely try some of the individuals. They are a lot easier. And that's the final effect. Very natural, hard to detect. You don't have to worry about any lifting throughout the night. These stay put. A really great primer is a must have for bridal makeup. The one I'm using here is from Clinique. It's their super primer. This holds everything on through heat, humidity, sweat, you name it. 
will not move. And to cover the redness on my face, I'm using a green color corrector from Graftobian. They have an excellent line of cream color correctors in every shade imaginable. So depending on your unique color corrective needs, you can find one there. These are great because they blend into the skin so nicely. They're very hard to detect underneath foundation and they wear really well. One of the best foundations that you can wear through heat, humidity, sweat, etc., is from Chanel. I personally love the Chanel Perfection Lumiere Foundation. I'm applying that here with a beauty blender. It gives you a light airbrushed finish. For my under eye area, I'm applying a concealer from Chanel. Again, one of my favorites. This is a great one that will not crease, move, smudge, wear away from crying. It stays in place no matter what. For my blush application, I'm going with one of NARS multiple blush sticks in the shade Orgasm, applying this with a duo fiber brush from Sedona Lace and using a stippling pattern to apply it blends in so beautifully with the skin and this is one of those universal colors that looks great on so many different complexions. I'm using a light dusting of La Mer to set my face. I love this powder because it doesn't make everything look matte. It still gives you a dewy glow but it keeps everything in place. And to help brighten the eyes, I went back and added a nude eyeliner onto the waterline. This is the one from Rimmel Scandal Eyes Line. And I also contoured on the lower lash line with a little bit of Force of Nature from the Tarte Tartlet palette. And finally, going back with the same waterproof mascara I used from Chanel earlier and applying this onto the lower lashes. It is cry-proof, so it will stay there through your entire wedding night. For the lips, I'm first lining them with Max Soar Lip Liner. One of my most favorite lipsticks to use on brides is Max Brave because it's one of those universal shades that looks great across so many different complexions and is very flattering to a wide variety of skin tones. One of the tricks you can use to make your lipstick last longer is to apply a lip gloss that matches the lipstick that you're using. So in this case, I'm using one from Sephora in the shade Rose Petal. And finally, to make sure nothing moves throughout the night, one of the best products that I have ever used that keeps everything in place long term is from Paula's Choice. It's their Shine Stopper. You apply this over the top of the makeup, blend it into the skin, and it literally holds everything in place for upwards of 20 hours. It's amazing stuff. And if you are getting married, congratulations. I hope you found this helpful today. And if you're not getting married and you have tips for brides, for makeup application for their big day, please feel free to share yours below as well. Thanks for watching. See you next time.